what do you think of the most recent protests in Hong Kong that seem to like, be gaining steam? Does this end like a Tiananmen massacre? What are your thoughts, and does this spread to mainland? If you draw a line from 1997 to 2047, so 1997, mm. Hong Kong goes back to, to uh, the PRC. 2047, when it when uh, the uh, one country, two systems goes away and, and mm -hmm. Hong Kong becomes, you could have predicted that the Hong Kong people, the reason that they agreed to that, and that right now, if you look at, look at what the parents are telling their kids, we are so sorry because we are making you fight the battle that we should have been fighting mm -hmm. back in 1997. Mm -hmm. So they're making their kids fight mm -hmm. for what they, what they expected was the same thing that we expected. Open markets lead the wealth, wealth leads to democracy. You know, sometime before 2047, the Communist Party will stop. Mm -hmm. And we'll, and, and then when we, then when 2047 comes, it'll be two democracies merging mm -hmm. and no mm -hmm. problem. Of course, now they realize that's not gonna happen. And the people of Hong Kong are not the people of the mainland. Mm -hmm. They do not want to go into slavery. They do not want to give up freedom of speech, rule of law, and then, you know, for some promise of, of a job. But then don't ever think about, you know, um, having a say about how you're governed or, you know, what you can do or what you can think or, you know, what you can dream. Mm. It, it, it's it's, it's going to, I think it's going to end badly. So when you say badly, give me your most the most probable scenario in your mind? I don't think the people of Hong Kong are going to give up. The Communist Party is not going to give up. The Communist Party's got a lot more power than the people of Hong Kong. So you think another Tiananmen? Yes. Mm -hmm. And when? Uh, only Xi Jinping could tell you that. Okay. <laughs>